Hello, this is a picture of a fleet carrier. It's seen from the front and it's eclipsing a star. So it's it's quite um, it's quite a striking view of it. It's not the view you'd normally expect, really. So it's a bit different. Um, it's um, the fleet carrier is basically a, a capital ship. You've got you've got it's your own space station. So it's wonderful. You, you've got your own little mobile hub where you can put. You've got 16 landing pads, so you can get like player and non-players can land on those and uh, it is insanely expensive but some people can afford that stuff I guess which is good for them uh, you can jump it around you can jump it around using tritium as fuel you mine tritium and you can buy tritium so that's quite good uh, and basically it can go significantly further than you can in a ship it can't go that fast though, so it's um, it's very much like the king, if you like, on a chessboard. It, it's uh, no, it's not at all, is it? That's just ridiculous. But it, it can go 500 light years, which you can't in any ship, not even if you're using a neutron star, I don't think. But it takes a bit of time. It's got 15 minutes to spool up its big old ring shift drive engine, and then it'll take 15 minutes to cool down once you've made the jump. The jump is smashing. The sound is great everything closes up and you get pulled inside and and then there's all sorts of warning klaxons go off and then you'll see the uh, the witch space cloud form well you'll see the witch space cloud form if you're not on it if you're on it you don't see anything because you're trapped inside and you can't there's no windows so yeah you would use uh, 60 odd tons of tritium each time you make a jump so you've really got to mean it if you go in places if you well that's your max jump that you'll use so you won't use all of that if you're only going like round the corner for a newspaper so anyway you you've basically you're gonna pay a, at least five million credits a week and you could be paying up to 25 million credits a week if you want to have all the functions available on your own little fleet carrier there so it's ridiculously expensive to run. But, I mean, some people might not think that's particularly expensive. Some people might just think, well, I can make that um, just in an evening's mining, and I am going to do an, an evening's mining a week. Well, me, myself, I, I probably wouldn't do an evening's mining a week. If I do mining, it's because I fancy doing it, and I haven't done it in a while, and I just want to hear the bang as I explode a rock. But some people don't, don't mind doing that at all. And um, certainly if you've got a faction, and everyone's willing to uh, make a bit of cash, then it's, it's tickety-boo, isn't it, I guess? So it's rather cool that you can have various different, uh, as it were, ship kits to make your, your fleet carrier look a little bit different. There's a few different layouts for them. Anyway, uh, thank you very much for watching. I think I may have witted on for long enough about this. It's uh, It was quite pleasant to do. Uh, mostly pencil frames, really. Uh, I'll see you later.